Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm going to talk through the installation of Zaptec Sense generic um, for UK. Uh, it comes as a kit of parts, which you can see here. So, what's in the box? We've got uh, Zaptec Sense, a uh, USB cable, and installation instructions. And in addition, we've got a clip on CT, uh, Carla Gavazzi energy meter and a 5 volt power supply for the Sense. So to fit Zaptec Sense, we're going to need to fit the current sensor. Slight problem on this installation is we've got a split supply. Um, we've got the domestic circuits here, and we've got the EV circuit here, which means that the, uh, the tails have been split on the other side of this wall. So we're going to need to fit this on the incomer. So let's go and have a look. So here are our split tails. Um, we've got these cables going to the uh, domestic supplies and these here are going to the uh, EV distribution board with the uh, Henley blocks here doing the splitting. So we're going to need to fit this CT upstream of this split. So it's going to need to go probably somewhere, somewhere here uh, on this line. So we're going to need to cable this through the wall, through to the DB, which means unfortunately I'm going to need to extend this cable. So we'll go and do that now and then run the cable through to the other side. So let's do that now. So we've now extended our CT wiring, a little bit tight, but uh, we've got uh, low voltage, 5 amp rated cable through to the other wall. We're not going to fit the CT yet because of the seat. it's a current transformer and we don't want that to be open circuit. So we need to make sure we terminate the other end before we fit the CT. Here's our fully populated uh, mini distribution board. We've got a type A RCD double pole relay here. We've got a 32 amp MCB feeding the charger circuit. We've got a 6 amp MCB here feeding the sense electronics. We've got a sense power supply here, 5 volt power supply. And we've got the Carlo Gavazzi meter and that's connected to the CT on the other side of the wall. So we're all ready uh, to wire this up um, to the sense cable. Okay, so let's do that now. We're now doing the, uh, the sense uh, low voltage wiring. Um, red and black's easy enough. That's uh, uh, red for positive, black for negative on the 5 volt supply. So red and black there, that's simple enough. Now on the uh, Carlo Gavazzi, uh, all we can see there is 6, 7 and 8. But if we look on the side of the uh, Carlo Gavazzi unit, we can see that 8 is marked as B minus. So that's D minus in the, uh, in the, in the, in the sense manual. So we want white to pin 8. Uh, 7 is ground, so that's brown and then uh, green is the uh, plus, the D plus wire, so that goes to the, uh, the, the, the plus terminal, which is six on the color capacity. So it's, you can see there it's green, brown, white on the, the bottom of the color capacity. And that uh, is our wiring done. So we're just gonna tidy this up and then we can plug in the sense. Oops, did you spot the deliberate mistake? Yeah, I didn't read the instructions correctly. There needs to be an additional wire between pin five up here and pin eight, and that's needed to terminate the uh, the mod bus. So I'm gonna add that now with an additional wire. There we go. Termination link uh, to pin five on the color Gavazzi link down to pin eight has now been added. So, that problem is now fixed. So I've tidied the wiring up a little bit uh, so we can uh, take our USB cable, plug it into our sense. Uh, we've got this uh, nice little magnetic uh, clip on there so we can uh, plug that, stick that on the side nice and neat. I'll tidy that wiring up later, switch on and We've got orange flashing light on the uh, sense, one, two, three, one, two, three, which according to the manual means uh, we need to configure it. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna need to make sure that I've set the um, CT ratio 
on the Collar Gavazzi. Um, it's 150 to 5 uh, ratio CT that we fitted. So that's a 30 to 1. So we're going to need to go into the menus here. So I'm going to now hand over to my uh, colleague Sonny who's going to show you how to do that. Hello all, this is a quick demonstration to show you how you can correctly set the CT ratio for your CT clamp on your EM111 E meter that you have just installed. Now to begin, we need to access the parameter menu. Now to do this, we need to hold the bottom of the module, uh, the bottom button for one and a half seconds. We'll then be told that we can pass and then we'll need to enter a four digit value to be able to access the parameter setting menu. Now to get past this, we can hold the up and down button together and we'll be presented with a menu and pass. We've now been able to get into the configuration screen. We then just need to use the up and down option to scroll through the options until we see CT ratio. And it is in weird sort of cap, uh, capital letters and lowercase, but we can see CT and then ratio. Once we've found that setting, we do need to confirm that that's where we want to access and we'll hold the bottom option for one and a half seconds. Once that's been done, we'll be presented with a two digit value, which we can update. In this scenario, by default, it will be placed on zero for a single phase supply. We need to put this up to 30. So to do this, each digit can be adjusted separately up to the value of 99 or each separate value 99. And we need to increase this to 30. So to do this, we'll use the up arrow to put this to zero. And then we'll use the next digit. And to be able to access that, we'll hold the bottom key again to confirm the selection and move over to the next value. That will then start highlighting the next value. And here is where we then need to enter the three to make it 30. So to increase the values, we click on the up button three times. Oh, one, two, three. Once that's been done, we need to confirm that is the value we want it set at. And to confirm a value, we will press and hold the bottom button for one and a half seconds. That should now be confirmed. If we click on to confirm the CT ratio value again, so hold down the bottom for one and a half seconds, we should then be presented with the new and updated value 30. Now we will just come out from here by again, hold pressing and holding the down button to confirm the selection. We'll then move over to next digit where we would repeat by pushing the down button again. That will then confirm the CT ratio. Now we need to find the exit option. Which is where we'd scroll to find the option end. As soon as we found the option end, we'll press and hold the confirm button, which is the bottom arrow. Press and hold for one and a half seconds. And then that should now be set correctly. So doing a test charging session, pulling about seven and a half kilowatts, we're just going to do a quick check of the um, power of the CT ratio. See there. Uh, a couple of taps on the top and it's showing 8.13 kilowatts so that's that's good that means that we've got the ct ratio set exactly right that's the physical installation complete uh, all you need to do now is use the zaptec app uh, scan the qr code follow the instructions that will allow you to set up the uh, network connection for the sense and pair it with the charger um, we've got the remote CT in the uh, uh, meter cabinet, so that will keep the DNO happy. Uh, we can now hand this uh, back to the customer, and as a final check, have a look in the portal, and you'll be able to see the installation with the Zaptec Sense under the power management settings. That's it, job done.